Okay, the second half of level 3A. I think on the first half I only got about half right, so let's see if I can get more than more than nine of these today. One to three now. We have two spades, a heart is three, club is four, two diamonds is six, we need three more tricks. Nothing coming in spades, presumably nothing coming in clubs. Hearts, the possibility of one more trick. But we'd still have to get two more in diamonds at that point. So either way, we'll need to get some stuff out of diamonds. The most straightforward thing looks like ace of spades, ace of hearts. Play a bunch of diamonds from the top. Uh, that has some obvious problems in that we won't have entries back to the diamonds later. If the queen doesn't fall, doubleton or singleton. So it seems worth potentially like giving up a a diamond trick for communication. Um, like we got if we got five of these six diamond tricks, we'd be totally happy. I can imagine doing something like. Ace of spades, and then putting up the jack of diamonds, and just letting that run. Um, that'll protect us against any 3-1 split. Because if they don't take the jack, then we'll just take the rest of the diamonds. And if they do take the jack, uh, we've got a spade stopper, we've got a heart stopper, we've got a heart entry, uh, we've got diamond entries, we'll be totally fine. Um, in that case, we could concern ourselves with four zero splits. There's a four zero split, so it could go ace of spades. We play the jack of diamonds, and it loses to the queen. If it lost, well, if it lost to west queen, uh, maybe that wouldn't actually be such a loss. We'd, we'd probably let it run. I think if we go jack of diamonds and west puts up the queen, I think we just let it go. Oh, no, that's fine. At that point, we could just play the, the diamonds, though, right? Also, why did I play Ace of Hearts? Why did I say we played Ace of Hearts? That's silly. I guess, sorry, this isn't much better than just doing Ace of Diamonds, King of Diamonds, Low Diamond, huh? Yeah, okay, never mind. My Ace of Hearts thing, that was silly. So it could go Ace of Spades, you know, Ace of Diamonds, King of Diamonds, Diamond to the Jack. Um, in a world where diamonds are 2-2, the Jack wins and we come back with Ace of Hearts. When diamonds are 3-1 and the queen hasn't fallen, we just give up that jack to the queen. We come back with the ace of hearts. Uh, so yeah, it looks like 4-0 four four diamonds is the actual interesting thing. Um, if lefty has four diamonds, it strikes me as not too problematic. Let's say we play the jack first. If it goes jack, queen, ace, um, and then east shows out, I think we'll want to come back, I guess, with the, uh, ooh. Coming back is tricky. That requires either the ace of clubs or the king of spades, which are our last stoppers in that suit. And we're still gonna lose a trick to Wes. That's a little bit much. Um, Jack, queen. I think we have to let the queen go. Yeah, Jack, queen, and we just duck it. And if East shows out, then we can finesse the nine on the next round. That seems okay. Um, if east has all four, so queen, ten, fourth, we play the jack, west shows out. That's already a big problem, huh? East is gonna have two stoppers. So maybe playing the jack first isn't, isn't best. We could play low to the nine. If we play low and west shows out, um, then East is still going to get two tricks, right? We play. Oh no, then we play the King of Diamonds. And then we play low to the Jack. Yeah. I think we play a low diamond. If West shows out, we play Ace and then back, and we play low to the Jack of Diamonds. And if West rises with an honor, we just let it go. If West plays... 
like the eight, like seven or eight, we cover it. Yeah. Okay. I think we can succeed against any distribution of the diamonds by playing low here. Let's see if I've done this right. Okay, so my idea here is, okay, so each is going to have the queen 10 small after this. All right, we'll win this. We'll play past the queen. Um, ooh, a concern here. Can they, they can force me to use my heart? Can they force me to use my heart entry if I duck this trick? They play a heart. I play the queen. If West plays the king, I oh, I duck and then West plays a heart. Ooh, that's no good, is it? Maybe I can't actually survive 4-0 with East. Mm. Okay, maybe I have to cater for 4-0 with West because I can't actually uh, prevent this from being a problem. It gives me an extra heart trick. Which is nice. I'm getting two heart tricks now, actually. In a world where before I was planning to get, you know, maybe just... Oh, sorry, I'm getting three heart tricks. So before, I was perhaps getting just uh, just one. But that's not quite going to cut it, because we still need one more from diamonds. And ducking the heart doesn't really help. East will just play another heart. At this point, we get two spades. Three hearts is five. A club is six. But we're only going to get two diamonds. For eight. So it's not going to quite work. Okay, maybe I just need to cater to the 4-0 with West because East can cause me a problem in hearts. Although my way of catering to the 4-0 with West was still to play low, right? Ooh. Just like duck around, basically. I'm not sure this helps a bunch. Yeah, playing the jack isn't really going to be any better when West has four. Playing low is just as fine. I don't think this has much merit. Yeah, same, exactly the same problems. Okay, can we handle four with East properly? My first approach was not, did not actually handle it. Can't. Could we want to actually go over early with the Ace of Hearts and play diamonds from north side? That doesn't seem to work to me. Um, let's say East plays low, he plays seven. If we let that go, um, East is still going to have a diamond stopper with the queen 10 small. If we play the jack and West shows out, oh, then I could play up to the nine. And if East ducks it, I'm good to go. And if they take it, um, I'm also good to go. But I still have another diamond left. Hmm, okay. That's Ace of Hearts and a low diamond. But what if the lefty has everything? Oh, then the jack loses, and we could finesse against the 10 later. Ah, okay. Perhaps this is right. So here, you know, East might show out. We need to put the jack in, that way we set up a finessing position against the 10. We can win this. We don't need to get the heart trick ever. We now have this finessing position against the 10, and the diamonds come home. All right. There we go. Okay. And handle 4 0 to either way, but just had to. Uh, to think through how we handle East having four hearts, or four diamonds, a little bit more. Okay. Wow. 
couple hearts. Hearts are looking good. We have two spade losers, a diamond and a club. Um, in diamonds, we can build up a guaranteed trick by playing the ace of diamonds and the queen of diamonds. We give up on, you know, a diamond finesse potentially, but that gives us a guaranteed uh, diamond trick. That looks better to me than taking the diamond finesse, because the finesse would require using the ace of hearts to take the finesse. And if the finesse fails, we don't have a way to get to the jack of diamonds. So my, and the club loser is slow enough that we can set the diamond up and then get over there and use it. Um, and we have some safety, even if trumps aren't 3-2. Like, if trumps are 3-2, it's probably, that's probably going to work just fine. We'll draw trump ending and dummy. If trumps are 4-1, um, we'll just risk, we'll draw three rounds and risk the third round of diamonds. Yeah, the club loser is very slow, so there's lots of time to do this. Um, this seems pretty good to me. So we'll have, we'll lose two spades and a diamond in that line. Um, can we afford any rounds of trump first? The uh, perennial question. It does seem to me like I could draw two rounds of heart. And then play ace of diamonds, queen of diamonds. Um, spades, I can just win some spades. Club return is fine. Diamond return, I pitch a club. Heart return, they just give me the entry I was going to use anyways. Okay. Well, it probably doesn't matter too much. Um, yeah. It looks safe to draw two rounds of hearts first. I don't get something silly like the Queen of Diamonds gets roughed. Okay, Queen of Diamonds. I assume the main point is just not to take the Diamond Finesse. But try the Diamond. Diamond is set up. Um... Okay, it is indeed getting roughed. Uh, yikes. That's cruel. Hmm. Does seem we're losing a club later, huh? I mean, I could have, sorry, I could have, I could have actually roughed that, but it wouldn't have made much of a difference. That's mean. I thought I had a good idea. I didn't think there was any way to, like, make the hand totally safe, but maybe? We do only have that one entry over. Queen of Diamonds first? Queen of Diamonds first. If they duck it, obviously we're fine. Yeah, the, the most concerning rough, it's true, would be the third round of diamonds, more so than the first or second. I cannot draw two rounds of trump if I play queen of diamonds first, because I could play king of diamonds and then use my last entry. I can draw one round of trump. Yeah, for better timing, queen of diamonds first. Okay, I can afford one round of trump. The queen. They play a heart, I went back in my hand. They could play some spades along the way, sure. Yeah, I win this in my hand. Ace of diamonds. Ace of hearts. And the jack. All right. Had one good idea about handling the diamonds. He had one better idea about the actual safest timing. We risk, in this way, we kind of, we, we make the second round rough riskier, make the third round rough much safer. And the third round rough is the one that's more dangerous in the first place, so that's a, a sensible thing to do. The 6-2 diamond split, much, much more likely than a 7-1 diamond split. How much more likely? Do I actually know my percentages? Ooh, boy. Um, I want to say that one is like 10% to 2% or something like that. Let's take a look at the uh, table. 
Oh, that is 17% for 6-2 split to 3% for 7-1. So yeah, about six times less likely. All right. Close, but still missing an important part. Four hearts, uncontested. Hearts looking good, spades looking good. Two club losers, two diamond losers. And presumably, we're not setting up a club trick. A diamond rough is technically possible, but it's going to require a pretty specific layout of the red suits. We pretty much don't want diamonds to split. Uh, three three. What we want is, oh, actually three three diamonds could be okay. Uh, we can still rough the fourth round high. Uh, but on four two diamonds, we would want to draw two rounds of trump before attempting the rough. Uh, but not two rounds of trump before playing ace king small diamond, um, because they might draw trump for us. I'm thinking that the appropriate thing to do is actually going to play a small diamond first. Then we can draw, then we can get back into control, draw the two rounds of trump, ace, king, rough, high. And at that point, I might have no hearts in dummy, so I'm going to want the king of spades as an entry back to the heart. So I think if they, uh, if they play a spade at some point, I think I'm going to want to win that with the ace. Oh, they could use both spades. Oh, that's fine. I'll rough back with the spade. Okay. I might just play three rounds of clubs first, then. Let's see. No. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. Here, I don't think it actually matters. They could, they could play spades twice. And so I'm imagining... Uh, oh, it could be one round of hearts and then a diamond. Then they play another round of hearts, which is fine. All right, I'm going to call it one round of hearts. A diamond. I don't want to draw two rounds because I want to be able to win this. If they play a heart, I want to be able to win it in my hand. Uh, I can rough high. A second round of hearts. Okay, one person is out of hearts. This is good. Let's hope that either the diamonds are 3-3 three, three, or the person who's out of hearts is also the person who's short in diamonds. Not today. <laughs> uh, fair enough. All right. <laughs> it sure seems like we need to rough this diamond. Isn't playing a high any benefit to playing like an ace of diamonds and then a low diamond? I suppose then I might I would find out that ace is out of diamonds on the second one. But that won't help if diamonds are four two. Oh, ace of diamonds, a low diamond, and then I want to play the other diamond from dummy? Pass the person who might be out? And then I get to choose whether to win the king or not? Maybe? Let's see. So a similar plan, but I actually want to save the ace of spades this time. Let me see. So if they give us a spade, I'm actually going to win it here. We play one round of trump. 
the Ace of Diamonds, then a low diamond. Finding out this time that East is out. And now, East can't rough my king. If they played a spade, or if they played a club and I rough and then play a spade, I would play the low diamond. If East roughs, I just give up. Oh wait, no, I'm already down, because they can just rough the queen. That doesn't work. <laughs> That's no good. Drawing three rounds of Trump is pretty unhelpful. Uh, one thing I haven't considered on this hand is potentially a dummy reversal. Um, what if we count losers from North's hand? That's two spades, a diamond, and two clubs. But I could rough the two spades. I could lose... Oh, sorry, it's three club loose here. I could rough a club and two spades. Mm, might that be the right choice? Yeah, okay. A dummy reversal might work here. I'm not sure if we've actually seen a full dummy reversal so far um, in the series. And to be clear, it's nothing really special, just the idea of counting losers from the short trump hand instead. Um, typically, roughs in the long hand don't give you extra tricks. Like, if I rough a club with one of these hearts, I'm still going to get five heart tricks. Like, right now, if I played five hearts, I'd get five heart tricks. If I rough a club in my hand, I get that trick plus four more. It's still five tricks. Whereas, if I rough a diamond and dummy, I could win that trick plus the five hearts in my hand and get six tricks. So roughing in the long hand typically does not make, not give you more tricks. But if you take so many roughs in the long hand, three in this case, such that you actually shorten the long hand to have shorter trumps than the, than the short hand, um, you kind of make the short hand the long hand. And you get, okay, three heart tricks from roughs plus three heart tricks from these last three hearts. Or in this case, you know, ace, king, queen, plus three roughs. So six tricks out of the heart suit. Um, six tricks out of the heart suit plus two spade winners, two diamond winners, that's ten tricks. So that might be what we're looking for. Let's take a look. Dummy reversals can feel weird because they, like, you take just a lot of roughs in one hand. Um, I don't care about how I do this. I don't see a lot of entries. Um... I wonder if two spades in the club? I don't have the entries for that, do I? That might not, might not be the right solution on this hand. That's ace of spades and a rough, like the queen of hearts and a rough. I can't actually rough this last club. Oh, maybe this was an error. Maybe... Uh, I don't think it matters too much, but I could do, I could do ace of spades... The club rough. This isn't quite going to work. Because king of spades, you know, the queen of hearts, and rough a spade. But I still have an entry to rough that last spade. So that doesn't quite work either. I don't think that's the solution here either. We're likely to see a real dummy reversal at some point, I think, in this level. In which case, uh, <laughs> we can get an example that actually works. I'm guessing it has something to do with the timing of the diamonds, but I, um, I'm not quite sure. What else have I not tried in diamonds? Um, okay, his first two tricks are pretty forced. There's quick king of spades, ducking a diamond early. Roughing this. Oh, is this going to give me the timing to rough out, to do my dummy reversal? <laughs> Back on the dummy reversal train. Ace of spades, rough a spade, queen of hearts, rough a spade? 
Mm -hmm. No, I don't want my diamond is absolutely getting rough. Rough. Your spades rough. I can't draw Trump at that point if I do that, surely. Eight of spades rough really high. King of hearts, jack of hearts. Rough really high. Oh, another heart? Sorry, does this work? Let me try this out. Rough. King of hearts. No, not quite, right? I'm short uh, one, one heart trick when I do this. They'll get their heart trick before I can get back to my... Well, their heart's just higher than mine, so that's not going to work. Oop. Okay. Yeah, and I can't afford a diamond rough at all if I give up a diamond. I think I'm going to have to look at this one. I will, I will pick up my first very wrong of level three. Let's see what we got. Defenders cash, two club tricks. And switch to spades. Our problem is to avoid the loss of two diamond tricks. Absolutely. Three, three diamonds are no problem. Diamonds are four, two. Oh, you can win. Ash the Ace of Diamonds. King of Diamonds. You can see the diamond. True. Rough a diamond highlighter. Oh, that's fair. Okay. I didn't actually quite think about that, but 4 2 might actually be fine just like that. Reese has five diamonds. Connor's like the fail. If West has five diamonds, though, we can succeed. How shall we succeed? As long as East has less than four hearts. I'm surprised it didn't say fewer. It's the kind of pedantic program where we expect the fewer. I'm fine with less, but I would have expected them to say fewer. Two in here. One diamond honor. Ace of spades. It looks similar to what I was trying to do. Uh, a diamond played next. Did I never actually try out this line? That's like about what I was about to attempt to do. Um, yeah, if we rough, we ignore it. Exactly. We discard. So if wins, concedes a diamond trick to west. Uh, who now can't play a diamond because we can rough him dummy. True. Okay, sorry, I think I was almost there then, and maybe we just need to try it one more time. Yeah, similar idea. The main, the main theme here being this idea of if someone might have a void and you're concerned about it, don't play an honor that they might rough. Instead, play from the other hand past them over to the honor. So that you give them this choice of either roughing and then they rough air. We say they are roughing air if, they, if you can just throw a loser instead. Um, or if they don't rough, then you can actually win safely. The Reno. Looks like one of those trick one hands. Let's see. We have three hearts and three diamonds for six tricks, and the spade is seven. Only one more trick somewhere. Hearts unlikely. Uh, diamonds impossible. Clubs, we can get a bunch of tricks if we can actually get enough spade stoppers. Um, it's hard. We would need we would need this spade suit to be three tricks for that to work. If this spade suit is only two tricks, then that's two stoppers and spades, which they're attacking first, against two stoppers and clubs, which will be attacking second, so we'll lose the race. Also, if these spades are three tricks, we don't need the clubs at all. But it seems pretty unlikely to get three tricks out of the spades. That would require one of the opponents helping us. Like, we'd let's say we duck this around to the 10. 
Like, ace plays low, and we get to win the 10. Then the only way to get two more tricks out of the spade suit, barring a doubleton king, which basically can't happen on that after that first trick one, um, the only way for that to happen is to get the person with king of spades on lead and have them lead a spade. Um, the problem is that well, if you play clubs, the person who doesn't have the king of spades is the one who's likely to get on lead and you know play it, play a spade. Um, This is the seven of spades. It'll tend to be a f that West has five spades. If West has four spades, what do they have? They have king, jack, nine, seven. Oh, king, jack, eight, seven, something like that. Um, and they're likely to have one of the others as well. I mean, they might not have, but West is likely to have uh, five spades. Um, they didn't overcall, which I guess is worth pointing out. They could be missing one of those high honors. They could just have, like, Jack 9873, something like that. But they are the likely to have. Whatever happens on this first trick, assuming I don't play the ace, playing the ace looks really scary because East could lead through the queen 10 later on, and we get only one spade trick. Uh, I do say that if West had the king jack of spades, there's a good chance it would have overcalled. They could have maybe literally nothing else, like no other honors at all, in which case, fair enough. If we don't play the ace of spades, and then we just cover whatever East does, so we play the ten or the queen as necessary, we will have a positional, we'll have two stoppers against West, if West is on lead. Oh, if East plays the king here, um, then presumably they will just clear spades and we'll have a problem. I don't think I can actually afford East to have the king of spades. So they'll play the king, play another round of spades, and they'll win the first club trick and... Oh, they might not be able to clear spades, I guess, at that point. They're kind of hoping East has two spades. Oh, another hope, actually, sorry, is that spades are actually 4-3. In which case, they just get two spade tricks and two clubs and we call it a day. So we have to assume that spades are not 4-3. Otherwise, it's not very interesting. And if they're not 4-3, very likely West is the one with 5. Otherwise, this lead is from, like, the 7-6-3, you know, which it could be. But likely West has the 5th spade, because they picked the suit to lead. I don't see too much that we can actually do in this hand. I guess let's start by seeing what happens here if we play low. So, the jack, all right. Um, oh, ducking this might be the right choice. Could it be? Hmm. If we, let's see, if we duck this, we will have two spade tricks if East leads a spade, assuming that West has the king. Um, which they would have to have if they had five spades. Because if West has five spades and doesn't have the king or the jack, it'd be nine, eight, seven, six, three. And they would have led the six and not the seven. So West has the king of spades if they have five spades. So if we play, if we duck this, and East plays a spade, we actually get two spade tricks from, from Demo. Um, also, East won't have another spade to lead when they get back on with the club. I think you have to hope that the club honors are either both with East, or they're split between the two hands. And that's actually pretty likely. If West had King Fifth of Spades and the Ace King of Clubs, they would overcall. Almost surely, I would overcall. The Spades might not be anything too great. We've got like two short tricks and clubs. That's pretty cool. So I think we're actually pretty safe ducking this. When East leads another spade, we play whichever. And now we believe that East has no spades and one of the club honors. When we play clubs, if West wins the first club, they can clear spades. But then when East wins the second club, they have no spades to lead back. 
Similarly, if East wins the first club, they can't clear spades. And then West lead, gets the second club, they won't be able to run spades. All right, East has a club, perfect. Thank you very much. Now play this, West wins, but the club, the spades have not been cleared. Beautiful. Okay. And an over trick for us. Ace on ace. Oh, I can't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But both kind of reading the spot card to see, like, if there's a 5-3 split, it's very likely West has the fifth spade. If West has five spades, they definitely have one of the honors, and they probably also don't have both the club honors, and that can lead us to the appropriate, appropriate play. What we're doing by ducking that first spade is something akin to a holdup. Right, we're not letting East get on lead at a time when they actually have spades that could damage us. Okay. 14. And a slam. Our first slam of the day. Spades are looking good. Hearts and clubs are... Okay, hearts are fine. Clubs are four losers. And diamonds look fine. Uh, this certainly looks like a cross rough hand right away. We've got, you know, ace empty fifth opposite a singleton, and then ace empty fifth opposite another singleton, the opposite hand. So we could, you know, rough back and forth all day long. Um, yeah, ace of hearts, ace of clubs, rough lots of clubs and hearts. Uh, let's see, though. In general, if you're going to embark on a cross rough, you should cash all of the side winners first. All the side winners that you need first. Um, because if we, if we embark on a cross rough doing a bunch of heart and club roughs back and forth, before we've taken any diamond tricks, the opponents can discard their diamonds. And then when we go and try to get the diamond tricks, they're rough. So that's no good. Um, we need 12 tricks. And when you're embarking on a cross rough, counting winners can often be more useful than counting losers. Um, it just helps with the accounting a bit more as far as like how many total tricks you're going to get um, from roughing so much back and forth. So like if we... Also important to point out that our trumps are high, so we can't get over roughed. That's good. Um, so if we rough back and back and forth, hearts and clubs, we'll end up with the ace of hearts, the ace of clubs, two tricks, all four spades in north's hand, six tricks, all four spades in south's hand, ten tricks. We'll need two more tricks beyond that, so we should cash two diamonds. We should not cash three diamonds because that is just asking for a rough. It is the way we would play to get 13 tricks, but that third diamond is a liability. Uh, this looks like both a cross rough combined with not getting greedy. Um, doesn't really matter what hand we end up in, I don't think. So I'm gonna cash two diamonds. And as long as ace of clubs holds up, we're good to go. We're gonna rough four clubs, we're gonna rough four hearts. We already have four tricks, that's 12 in total. So we just need to not get greedy by cashing that third diamond. So West had a diamond. I should guarantee you East has no more diamonds. There we go, we watched all those diamonds discard from West. That third round of diamonds would have been roughed by East. All right, just don't get greedy. Take just the tricks you need. Four hearts. Hearts looking good. Could be losing two spades, a diamond, and a club. One too many. Uh, there are, of course, uh, a, or a spade rough is... Oh, sorry, actually, it could be three spades, a diamond, and a club. Let's be careful. Um, could be five losers. It seems likely that we'll get to rough a spade. Um... Yeah. 
in diamonds, they do have a two-way finesse. Two-way finesses might make us think about some eliminations, possibly. That might be a little bit hard to set up on this hand. Uh, we can set up a bunch of diamond extra winners. Even if that finesse fails, um, we could have two extra winners in diamonds. The problem is that the spade and club losers are going to be immediately exposed, so don't really have enough timing to use those. Um, if we could get righty on lead after clubs were el eliminated, um, righty wouldn't have a very good lead. Um, a diamond would give us would solve the diamond suit for us, and a spade would give us a trick of the king of spades. So it'd be nice to put righty on lead after drawing. Trump, because we don't want East to have a Trump lead left. A little tricky to manage. What do we think West has in clubs? Um, the nine, presumably. But I don't know too much. If I play, play the ace here, like three and ace, it's possible that East has the king queen, and we could throw them in in clubs. Like, we'd win the ace, we'd draw trump, we'd play another club and throw east in with the king or queen. Um, because they'd have to beat the jack. Or they'd, they'd duck the jack and we'd get a trick, and that'd be fine. Beyond that first spade rough, we're looking for one more trick. Either the king of spades, no diamond loser, or no club loser. Um, if we play the jack now, that's not very useful. Like, a ten jack, queen, ace... And now we have no control who wins the second trick. So I think, I think for our best chances, we should be playing this low. And okay, if East had played the king or the queen, we could be pretty confident that the ten, the jack would throw them in. Oh, maybe that's not true. I guess West is actually quite likely to have one of them. West does not have both the king and the queen. But um, they could have one of them. We're hoping that East has one. Or both, rather. Worth a shot. We have other play left if it doesn't turn out. Let's let's see. So we draw, draw Trump. Maybe two, two rounds enough. Two rounds enough. And I try to put East on lead. It doesn't work. And yeah, that's what I fear is the uh, the lead through the king. Oh, we should give it a shot. And then it comes down to guessing the diamonds. But I'm going to meta-guess that we can't guess these diamonds. No matter what we do, we're not going to get the diamonds right. Uh, we can take a bit of stock of what we've seen. So West had, what, the King of Clubs? Um, the Queen of Spades? East would then have the Queen of Clubs, uh, the Ace of Spades. And really, either of them could have the Queen of Diamonds, right? Nothing in this auction stops either of them having the Queen of Diamonds. So we just have a guess at this point, and we're not going to get it right, because that's not how Bridgemaster rolls. Promise that, like, no matter what you do in Diamonds, uh, we're losing that Queen. Could we set this up differently? So I played low the first time and tried to preserve the Jack. Because playing the jack I don't think is very helpful. Like, East wins with the queen, sure. Um, actually, I guess it's worth pointing out that if the club honors are split, we can never throw East in. West will always take the second trick. And ducking this doesn't really help. Uh, they won't play another... Well, they can play another club. Oh, maybe it is okay. Is that okay? Maybe. Maybe this is good. Okay, let me consider ducking this. Because East can't lead a spade productively. Um, so they'll have to play either a club or a heart. Because a diamond is fatal, a spade is fatal. Okay, sure. So they do this. That's fine. I draw Trump. Uh, what I kind of want to do is, I still, I still want to throw East in. 
Um, and I can take this finesse that goes into East's hand, but that doesn't work very well if East has another diamond to return. I can play Ace of Diamonds, low to the nine. If East wins, the Queen has another diamond. That's no good. Uh, we can try Ace of Diamonds, King of Diamonds, and the diamond. But that's not very good when West has the Queen of Diamonds. Um, it's not bad, though. It actually wins against a Doubleton Diamond from West, or any or, or Queen Singleton or Queen Third from East. Like It's like, okay, but I don't think it's... It's not that much better than just taking the finesse. And my best guess is like we, we play the king next and we try to throw East in and you luck. No luck. All right. And they go ahead and take two spade tricks as before. Hmm. I'm really quite enamored with the idea of throwing yeast in. Yeah, because we see what happens on both of these, right? The jack, it just goes jack, queen, ace. West will win the next club trick. We play the three. They just play low. And playing low here isn't very helpful. Like, West could just lead the spade right now, right? Yeah. And here's immediately in, in some, some trouble. That doesn't seem so helpful. No trump thrown is possible because all of our trumps are the highest. I am not sure. Guess we'll check it out. All right, leads the ten. Must avoid losing two spades, one diamond, and a club. True. It's true. The diamond suit could eventually help, but we do have a problem with a lot of exposed club and spade losers. We should make every effort to keep West off lead. I agree. Yeah, we play the jack first. Yeah, that's one good way of avoiding West from being on lead. And then we can duck. Sure. Oh, that never quite do this. That's, that's true. Yeah, if we're getting the lead, we can just draw Trump and then take the diamond finesse. Oh, that's like much more simple than what I was imagining. Yeah, okay. No no throw-ins per se, just uh just really hardcore avoidance. I should have gotten this right. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. That's a mistake.
Oh god, six bits. Uh, looks cross roughy again, doesn't it? Doesn't this hand look just incredibly similar to the previous one? Uh, the previous cross rough. Uh, with one key difference. And it's not the suits. Like, sure, diamonds and clubs got swapped. Now our clubs have winners and our diamonds and hearts are the cross rough suits. But there's a more important difference that makes this hand not isomorphic to the one a couple ago. And that's that the opponents have led a spade. And when they lead a spade, we don't get as many tricks barred from doing the cross rough. Instead of scoring all eight spades separately, we have to spend two spades on this trick. And then we can only rough three times in north, three times in south, so it's seven tricks total. This one plus six roughs. And if we're getting seven tricks um, from the cross rough, plus the ace of hearts, ace of diamonds, which is nine, we're going to need three tricks from club. So because of their spade lead, we're going to have to actually risk the third round of clubs this time. All right, let's hope for the best. And there we go. It worked. Okay. We'll cash all the side winners first. And now we happily cross rough six more tricks. They'll get one at the end, but that is okay. There, where the first one was about not getting greedy. This one is about uh, doing what you have to to survive. Absolutely. Had to hope for the 3-3 three, three, or 3-4 three, split this time. All right. Go back and forth between hands that I can just, like, do in a snap and hands that uh, uh, just struggle on when I should know better. All right, we've got some of our first opposing bidding here. A spade bid from east and a spade bid from west. Okay. Let's do a quick high, part, high card check count. Uh, 10 in diamonds, 5 in spades is 15, 6 in hearts is 21, 6 in clubs is 27. So they have 13 between the two of them. Um, they're likely to be split fairly evenly, like 7 with east and 6 with west, maybe 8 with east, 5 with west, something like that. Um, west could raise like a little bit light. East would like to have a little more than 6. So something, something like that, roughly. I'd give west like 5 or 6, and east like 7 or 8. <clears throat> and we already know East has the Ace of Spades. Okay. Uh, either of them could have the King of Hearts at this point. Um, but what I would say is that uh, if East has the Ace of Clubs, West has the King of Hearts. And vice versa. So no one's got both of the high round honors. Okay. And Jack of Hearts, who knows? So, clubs, we have a loser. Hearts, we might have two losers. Spades, we have a loser. That's four. Diamonds are fine. Um, and of those four losers, two of them are fast and unavoidable, which is Ace of Clubs, Ace of Spades. Okay. And we can be quite sure that East has the Ace of Spades. So we will need to not lose either of these hearts. One heart could go away on a heart finesse. Another heart could go away on a long diamond. Um, but we're also going to get an extra winner in spades. Because I put up the king here, you know, king ace small. Then the queen of spades is an extra winner. We can use that plus the diamonds. But if it goes like... King A small. Uh, the problem there. Let's see, King A small. East could play a heart right away. And we we likely don't want to take the heart finesse because we have safer ways of getting rid of the heart. Um the problem though, if we take the ace of hearts, is now the heart loser is exposed. And we need to draw a trump before we can use the extra winner in diamonds. Um However, for the sake of timing, I think we could duck this first spade trick. 
if we duck it and East plays the ace anyways, um, you know, and leads a heart, we'll take ace of hearts, go over in diamonds, and use the now two extra spade winners to drop the two hearts. And it'll be good to go. We know that neither of East or West is roughing because of the auction. East has at least five spades, and West has at least three. Um, if we play the three of spades right now and East ducks, West can't attack hearts from their side. Um, and then later we can take, like, the roughing finesse through East, which we know will work because we know East has the ace of spades. That looks more promising to me. East ducks, giving us the harder option. Okay. We're going to want entries to the north hand to both play diamonds and do spade finesses. So let me do the first two rounds of clubs in my hand. Uh, oh, sure. Ace of clubs. And now they try to attack hearts, but we do not want to risk it all on the finesse. I'll play the king now, kiss the 2-2, two, two. then I've got two entries. Nice. Okay, we can now take the guaranteed roughing finesse here. Thank you very much. Trumps are drawn. I'm pretty sure. Doesn't hurt to play one, though. So, hey. Okay, and we're good to go. We've got our extra diamond and our extra spade, and we did not expose our heart loser too early. All right. Two spades, six spades. All right. Hope partner's got quite the hand. Pretty good hand. I sure would be concerned about losing two hearts if I was north, but what can you do? Besides, you know, Blackwood. <laughs> So even then, you might not find out about the Ace of Hearts. You might just find out about King of Spades. Okay, so a Spade loser and a Diamond loser are the things that we are contending with. And of course, in Diamonds, we have a Finesse available. And in Spades, we also have a finesse available. As long as West has one spade, I think we're okay. Maybe it doesn't sound very meaningful. Um, <laughs> because we could just, you know, uh, guess right. If West has one spade, we should play the ace of spades. If West has two spades, we should let the queen run. But I think we might find that when we play a spade from our hand, if West follows, we might have a 100% line of play without guessing. Um... Oh, sorry, it's not West who I want on, it's East who I want on lead. Um... Yeah, if I could get East on lead, we would have the finesse. Or they would, we wouldn't have to do the diamond finesse, as long as we eliminated the hearts and clubs first. Okay, uh, that, wasn't, that was a little bit disjointed for me, but what I'm imagining doing is eliminating the hearts and clubs. So I'll play two rounds of hearts, we'll play ace-king of clubs and rough a club. And then I'll play the queen of spades. Oh yeah, I think we're guaranteed to win. I think this might actually be a 100% cold hand. I'll find out more. After I eliminate these, I'll explain a bit more. Okay, so we're gonna risk uh, you know, two rounds of hearts, two rounds of clubs. That shouldn't be that dangerous. Much less dangerous than the 50% guess, or even the 75% guesses uh, by hoping for one of the finesses to work. Okay, hearts and clubs are eliminated. No more safe leads if East gets on lead, as long as they have no spades. 
So then we're going to play the queen. And let's consider the possibilities. If West showed out, so remember they only have two spades, because we had five here and six here. If West showed out here, I would play the ace and then another spade, throwing east in. And east would have to lead a diamond to give us a trick in diamonds, or a harder club, in which case we would rough and slough a diamond. <clears throat> when West doesn't show out, they either have one spade or two. If they have one spade, we could play the ace and be good to go. If they have two spades, we like to play low. But if they have one spade, we can also play low, because then East is going to win and be in the same situation. So we should absolutely not take this finesse. Whether it loses or, or wins when we play low, we win. <clears throat> East has no response. We rough and slough a diamond loser. And just like that. Yeah, the slam is not cold because we could have had one of those um, early tricks roughed. But it is much better than the 75% of like hoping one of the finesses works. How much better? Maybe worth actually counting out. Let me see. What's the chance of a rough when they have nine cards? An 8 1 split. An 8 1 split is basically unthinkable. I mean, obviously, obviously it can happen, but it's like 1%. Um, the chance of a 7-1 split, which we would have had to have in clubs. Oh, sorry, clubs requires an 8-1 split. Hearts requires a... Sorry, can I count? No. 7-1 split in clubs. The 7-1 split is 3%, and the 8-1 split is much less than that. So the chance that we go down on this line is, yeah, like less than 4%. So absolutely the right choice compared to taking one of... They're trying both finesses. Yeah, just have to recognize the kind of... I uh, guess a couple elements in this hand. One is that we have two finesses, and in general, if we could avoid taking finesses, that would be nice. Which finesse could we avoid? Um, it'd be diamonds. You can't really... I say you can't, but like, in general, you're not going to be throwing people in to give you a trick in trumps. That basically can never happen, because you should have more trumps than them, it, you, you would expect, and so they would have something else to lead. We might see some examples, but that's not quite true. Maybe some, like, Trump coups later on. But it looks like if we were going to avoid a finesse by getting an opponent to lead it, it'd be diamonds. And if someone's going to do that, it has to be righty, because lefty could lead a diamond for free, and we'd have to take the finesse for real. But if righty leads a diamond, we get a free diamond trick. If we're going to throw righty in and force them to lead a diamond or concede a rough and slough, then we need to eliminate the rounded suit. And then it's worth noting that how are we going to throw righty in? Well, it's going to have to be the king of spades. That's the only possibility. And the safest way of doing that is to start with the queen. Because if we start with the ace and west has two spades, then we could just be down when the finesse doesn't work. But by playing the queen, we find out whether it's correct to play the ace or not, based on what west plays. Yeah, that is a, that's a pretty cool hand. Not cold, but it's like a 96% favorite. Also, none of, none of the opponents bid when they had like seven or eight of a suit, so it's probably even better than 96% in truth. Okay, one note from West. Uh, a natural sign-off in hearts. Gotta remember that this bidding is a touch old, like just before transfers became really popular. Like, um, I forget when this was made originally, actually. Ooh, when was the original Bridgemaster made? I think... It's around 1995, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, when we see that one no opening though, we should certainly count some points, so let's see. Partner has seven, we have eight, 10, 12, 13, that's 20 points, 20 high card points between us. Um, and so they have 20, okay. And so we know West has 15 to 17, so West has 16 plus or minus one, that gives East four high card points, plus or minus one. Also, East has at least five hearts, so West has at most three. Um, this lead could be from a doubleton or from king-queen-small, so we'll see. Okay, and let's see where, where we're actually at here. So we do have two heart losers and a possible diamond loser to go along with a, a whack of spade losers here. We are in three spades. We can afford four losers. 
And two Trump losers is you know, somewhat likely. Quite likely. Not guaranteed, but quite likely. And how we play those spades, yeah, it might depend on what we learn about the heart. So let's go forward a couple tricks here. King Jack. Okay. This... I expect this to mean that West has the Queen. Um, and that East has solid hearts down from the Jack. The idea being that West could try to, you know, underlead to, uh, to East if they need to. If he said the queen, they'd play the queen. So I think West has the king, queen of hearts. Oh, there we go. Confirmation. And East overtakes anyways. Okay, so we got a bunch of information right away. We just saw five high card points from East. The ace of hearts and the jack of hearts. Uh, West has at least 15, and that's already the 20 for their side. That means that West has all of the remaining high cards. Queen, jack of clubs, king of diamonds, king, jack of spades. So that should certainly help inform what we do in the spades. And it points out that we are going to lose a diamond. <clears throat> the diamond finesse will not work. We're going to lose two hearts and a diamond, and we need to avoid losing two spades. Okay. Um, and we're probably going to have to just rough this one low. I don't think we have much of a choice in that. If we roughed it with the queen, I think we'd be in a lot of trouble in general. Or, yeah, almost certainly. Well, I'll drop it low. And hope that, yeah, East had five. Uh, good on East to overtake that, though, in case that king-queen was doubleton. So sensible for East to overtake. Okay, so we know that West has the King Jack. They don't have to have the Ten of Spades. But they do have the King Jack. Um, how many spades might West have also? Uh, we, all we know is that they have exactly three hearts. Um, so they can have any spade length. Uh, I think in this program, people tend not to bid one, though, with a five-card major. Plus, if they had five spades, we would be in a lot of trouble. Um, so presumably it could be four, three, or two. Two is possible if they have a five card minor. Uh, so let's consider our options. So the queen, leading the queen of spades. Um, so presumably we go queen, king, ace. Um, and at that point, we would hope to only lose to one of the ten and jack, uh, which seems very challenging. Because if West has both of those, we lose to both. If they're split, the person who's short will win the first or win the next trick. That leading the queen looks like a fool's errand. Uh, playing the ace of spades is just tacitly giving up, uh, unless West has exactly king jack doubleton. That seems to lead us with running a spade, like running the nine. Um, if it goes nine of spades low, I think we have to just let it go and hope that East doesn't have the 10. Oh, also worth pointing out that another, another possibility is like uh, King of Clubs and then a low spade to our hand. Presumably putting in something low and not the Queen, because we know the Queen would just lose. That'd be silly. Yeah, actually, is there almost anything we can survive when West has the... Okay, so if West has King Jack small, East has 10 doubleton. And the way we would handle that is we would play a low spade from North, and low to the 7, so finessing against East 10. West wins with an honor, like, say, the Jack, but then we run the Queen... Through West, pinning the 10. That's when West has King Jack small. If West has King Jack 10, I think we just can't win, right? We play low, they play 10, low 10 ace. 
Yeah, I think we need East to have the Ten of Spades for this to work at all. Either Singleton or Doubleton. Oh, or even, even Tripleton can work. Okay. Yeah, I think our appropriate thing here is just to finesse East for the Ten of Spades right away. I think it's the only way that we succeed. West plays the Jack. Fair enough. And we can't lose any more spades because we know we're losing a diamond. So we have to run the queen through west and hope that east 10 is double 10. Which it is. Beautiful. And we draw trump. And before we draw the last trump, we make sure to actually set up the diamond trick. All right, not before we draw the last trump, before we play the last trump. Okay, and our diamonds are good. Well done us. So maybe not the normal way we would play the spades. Not actually an unreasonable way of playing the spades in general, but we're actually guided by the auction to find like exactly the right play in spades. The auction plus the uh, the first two tricks where we saw all of these high card points. Most with the diamond positive. Hmm, that's a good diamond suit. Fair enough. North figures that if we have four losers in our hand, and North can bring it, you know, six tricks, or you know, at least three of them, that should bring it down to one loser. A very reasonable thought. Okay, so we have three spades, three hearts is six, a club is seven, three diamonds is ten. We need two more tricks. We cannot get them in clubs, because we'd have to give up two clubs along the way, which we can't afford. So we're going to need them in diamonds. Uh, so instead of three diamond tricks, we need five diamond tricks. That means we can lose a diamond or allow one loser. So losing a diamond early is a sensible thing to do. Um, low to the 10 seems like the most normal thing to do. But I will consider alternatives. Um, so, of course, if diamonds are 3-2, not a problem. If diamonds are 4-1, uh, then any, any first round duck will be fine, whether it's low to the 10 or just totally low from both hands. That'll be totally fine. Because um, they can win the first trick, and then we'll get the next three, and then the next two. Uh, so the interesting part then is 5-0 diamonds. Um, if East has five diamonds, there is nothing we can do. They'll have the Jack Nine Fifth. They can get two diamond tricks always. If West has five diamonds, um, we should be careful about expending the ten too early. Uh, we will actually need to fully duck the first round of diamonds. At that point, East will show out, and we'll know that we can finesse the ten on the second round. And then ace, king, queen for the third, fourth, and fifth rounds to clear out all the diamonds. Okay. So yeah, I think we can't handle east having five diamonds, but as long as west has a diamond, we're good to go. We just need to fully duck the first round. Because if we had played the ten there, it would have held. But then what? We can't go duck a... We play ace, king, queen and lose the fifth round of diamonds? That's no good. We can't duck another diamond... And then, because we have no entry back, so we need to fully duck that first round of diamonds. And that leaves us with a finesse on the second round. And then all the diamonds are ours. And there we go. Always good if you can find a play that lets you win on any possible combination on which it is possible to win. Which is exactly what this is. Four hearts. Our hand is good. Partner's hand could be better. Club honors are a little tricky to use. Would have much rather uh, 
had, you know, the king of spades. Actually, it's really true, because uh, we might have trouble even using the ace of clubs. If we had the king of spades, we could just lose, like, spade and two diamonds and call it a day. So I'd much rather have the king of spades than the ace jack of clubs. Not all high card points are created equal. Similarly, we could trade in all of Dummy's high card points, all six of them, for just the king of diamonds. That'd also be better. We just lose a diamond and two spades. All right, and this is why high card points opposite your partner's void are questionable. Well, one of the reasons. The other is just it's hard to set up clubs. Okay, so jumping ahead a bit, but we do have two spade losers and two diamond losers. Because if the ace of diamonds, the queen jack will be a second trick, and then we could lose two more. Um, we have a clear extra winner in the ace of clubs. If only we could get to it. Um, we could rough a diamond, potentially, though our hearts are getting attacked real fast. So I'll pick up about that. Okay. What comes to mind then, and we've seen this a couple times before, is this kind of timing threat where we give the opponents a choice between winning an early trick and giving us an entry or giving up an early trick and giving us timing. If we play the Queen of Diamonds now, <clears throat> um, if they win, if they win the King and they knock out our last heart, no diamond rough for us, but the Jack of Diamonds will be an entry and we'll use the Ace of Clubs. And if they don't win the Queen of Diamonds, then we can play Ace of Diamonds and get a diamond rough before they have the timing to knock out the heart. So that, that looks good to me. <laughs> they choose to win, giving us an entry, knocking out this. Ah, but that just lets us draw the last trump. And pop on over to the Ace of Clubs. Neat. Yeah, we've certainly seen things like that in level two. Maybe, maybe towards the end of level two. I think what happened, um, so like historically, only the level A's existed. So level 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, 5A. That's what Bridgemaster first launched with. Um, with some like 180 problems. <clears throat> and then the, uh, the B series, the C series, the D series, were actually add-ons um, later on. And I think what they did, in, especially towards maybe the C's and the D's, is they started adding a bit of linking content between the levels, where they started kind of sprinkling in some of the things from the next level. Because um, this hand, we saw a hand very much like this, maybe a couple, I think, in level two. Um, but I think they were towards the end of level two. I have to compare them side by side to see which I thought would actually be like craftier, I guess. And that's a play I definitely would have, wouldn't have recognized so speedily two years ago. So that's definitely a theme that I've improved on. Is giving ops that kind of choice between early trick and entry or late trick and timing. Okay, two spades from West. And we still find our way to six diamonds. Take that, West. That West will look uh, pretty smart if we don't make it. Okay. So, two obvious spade losers. That's a problem. <clears throat> um, the diamonds aren't 100% free. We have ten diamonds, only the top two. But, uh... <laughs> oh, we'll see. Um, 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 um. So West has six spades. That's worth pointing out. Uh, ducking this spade would be pretty fatal. East would just get a rough right away. I believe we will be taking this. We've got these two extra winners in Dummy, the Queens of Hearts and Clubs, which we could use to pitch two spades. And then even if there was a diamond loser, it would be okay. 
Uh, but how, how do we get there? So we'd love to have Ace of Spades later, after we unblock either hearts or clubs, um, on a quote-unquote normal auction. Maybe you would. Well, maybe not on six diamonds, but other contracts. You know, maybe you would try to duck the spade. You know, if West had a a doubleton spade, say, uh, then perhaps you would have to. You could duck a spade, and they wouldn't be able to drive up the Ace of Spades in time. But we know West has six spades. So ducking that does not seem like a winning strategy. But if we take it, what do we actually do? Potentially, we throw in East. Because one thing we know when we take the Ace of Spades is that East is out of spades. That means if we were to unblock hearts and clubs and put East on lead later, they would have, they would have no more diamonds. Ideally, at, at a time when they have no more diamonds, then they would have no diamonds, no spades. They would have to lead a heart or a club to give us a trick. This is a different kind of throw-in than we've seen so far. All the previous throw-ins have been around eliminations, where we give one defender an untenable lead that gives us a trick, or it gives up a trick in some way. This is a little bit different in that we're using East to give us an entry to cards that we might otherwise not have an entry to. So not like giving up a trick in the same kind of way, though the end effect is the same. They do end up giving up tricks in the end. So how can that work? Um, if diamonds are 3-0, that would actually be great right now, as long as East had three diamonds. You play Ace of Diamonds, King of Diamonds, and give East a diamond. Um, if diamonds are 2-1, we're gonna have to hope that East has the two diamonds, which isn't that big of a hope. I mean, uh, West does have six spades to East 1. East has much more room for diamonds in their hand. So I think we play Ace of Diamonds, and then we just play a small diamond, hoping the East has to win it. Looks like the only chance to me. So we need to unblock hearts and clubs. That way, either of East's possible returns... Oh, also, I suppose it's safe to play one round of diamonds. Okay. Should have done two tricks ago. But we do that, just in case there's some roughs from West, which would not be uh, so unlikely. Okay. And now there's one more diamond out there, and we hope that East has it. As long as East has it, we're actually home free. They have no spades to lead. They have to give us a queen or a club. Et voila. Thank you, Monsieur East. Okay. We kind of used an opponent as an entry. A little bit of a different throw in than we've seen. Nice. Yeah, that's a, that's a fun one. And a pretty good example of, you know, when everything looks completely hopeless, like what could you possibly look for? Like, you know that we have to take Gates of Spades because of the auction. And you know that we need to use Dummy's Winners to get rid of these spades, or at least one of these spades. So how could you possibly get to Dummy? And there is a method for you to consider. Our hand is not great. And yet here we are in six hearts. All right. It's actually interesting. Um, one heart bid, clear enough. Partner game forces with three clubs, and we're like, no, we're not having any of that. Like, <laughs> uh, we've got hearts. I mean, in truth, we have a diamond fit. Like, presumably North has four diamonds. They might, might not. It could be like four, one, four, four, I guess, and maybe bid this way. Maybe there'd been two spades. They probably have a diamond fit. Um, then North bids five hearts, and I believe in their system we play this jump to five, like skipping over four, as do you have anything extra for slam? Our three hearts bid showed, I suppose, a sixth heart, and that's about it. 
And we do have one extra thing, maybe two extra things, which is a seventh heart and an actual diamond bit. Um, so here's hoping that that is enough to make six hearts. I'd be scared. <laughs> With not even a king in sight, I think I would be scared. Actually, the spade... Oh, even the spade singleton is an unclear value. Because north might also have a singleton spade. It could be 5-5 five, five in the minors, or they could be, uh, like, 1-3-5-4. But, okay. Queen of spades, pretty useless. So the hearts look good. Uh, the spade loser is imminent. Diamonds look good. And then we have a club loser to contend with. Uh, no throw-ins this time. We're already losing our first trick, so none of that. Um, diamonds, of course, could just split 3-2, and then we'd be able to pitch diamond. They could also split 4-1, split, uh, in which case we could play ace-king-queen, rough a diamond, ace of clubs, back to the last diamond. Um, and if diamonds were 5-0, well, then I guess we would take the club finesse. We should certainly try the diamonds first. Also, the, the heart blockage could cause us a touch of strife. If hearts aren't 2-2, two, two, then we're going to have a bit of trouble drawing trump after we take the first two hearts. Uh, but let's see, this first trick, uh, we have no choice, and I assume we'll play another spade, which we are forced to rough. Okay. If hearts are 2-2, two, two, that's exactly the plan, right? Is we're going to go ace of hearts, king of hearts, trump or drawn, three diamonds, roughing a diamond if we have to, and then taking the club finesse if it turns out the diamonds are 5 up. But if hearts aren't 2-2, two, two, we may have some bigger concerns. Hmm. As far as, like, how do we get back to this hand? Like, if we play ace-king of hearts, and hearts are not 3-2, or not 2-2, not two, two, uh, we're probably in a fair bit of trouble. Um, actually, we're, aren't we just, like, immediately screwed? Because how are we going to get back to play the last heart? If we play clubs, we just lose a club. If we play diamonds, we're going to lose the third round of diamonds or earlier. There's really no way back. That's a big problem, because hearts are more likely than not to be 3-1 or worse. Um, it's like a 40%, 50%, 10% for 2-2, 3-1, and 4-0. So a 60% chance of hearts not being 2-2. So it does look like if we go and play the hearts, we're actually condemning ourselves to at most a 40% chance making the contract. Um, and it is about exactly 40%, because the only way we fail once hearts are 2-2 is that the diamonds are 5-0 and the club is offside, um, which is like 2%. So, yeah, it's about 40% if we play hearts. Even though it looks really nice to try out these diamonds and then take the club finesse and all that good stuff, um, it's just too dangerous. It's absolutely too dangerous. I think we have to just take the club finesse right now. 50% is better than 40%. Because if we take the club finesse, the so queen of clubs that holds, then now we can take two rounds of trump and we can rough back in clubs if we need to. And oh, what we risk there then, we have six clubs, so we're risking a, a second round rough when they have seven. That's a 6-1 split. It's only like a 7% chance. Um, we need to succeed at fifty percent, and then like a ninety-three percent. Yeah, yeah. The club, the club finesse right away looks like that's actually the safer line. Unfortunate, but I think that's true. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Good analysis. All right. Quality. Quality. All right, one, one more time then. 
Um, we can't take any rounds of Trump first because we just get stuck in Russ hand, and that's a that is a problem. Um, oh, okay. It's it's a little bit less dangerous than I thought if we take two rounds of hearts, uh, because somebody is out of hearts at that point, and it could be the person who has short diamonds. So that's actually not like the end of the world. So if we get the bad, so 40% of the time we just win because hearts are 2 2. The other 60% of the time, well, the person with short diamonds also have short hearts. That's less than 50% because usually shorter diamonds would be longer hearts on average. Um, but it's not, not the worst thing to hope for. I don't see any reason to playing like a round of diamonds first or anything like that. Um, let me see. This all strikes me as like a little bit too easy, perhaps, but we play two rounds of hearts and we go, okay, well, we just hope that East has the the short heart or the short diamonds. Let's find out. And they do. Well, that was actually really uninteresting. <laughs> uh okay. We still play the queen for fun, but we don't finesse. It's diamond drumming club. I thought my way was better, but I, I agree that on balance, actually, this line is stronger. It's pretty close, though. Um, so the finesse line is a little better than 40%. Actually, maybe it's not that close. Because you have a 50% finesse, and then you need clubs not to split terribly, which is... But it's like six one, like a seven percent chance. Um, so yeah, you end up with like a it's like a forty six percent line, something like that. Whereas this other one, um, it's forty percent plus like a I guess a, a hefty portion of that remaining sixty percent. Like as long as you pick up at least you know even twenty percent of that remaining sixty percent is probably better. Okay, I'll see what they say about it. Um, they, they might not get into the math. I'm not sure. I think you're basically comparing two, two lines that are, aren't like so far apart. Blockage of hearts could be a problem if you three one. Indeed. We cash the ace of hearts and the king of hearts. And one of the things is the trump left of no quick way back. It's true. South can avoid this problem by finessing clubs at trick three. Right, which is what we tried to do. The club finesse wins, then uh, you know we're good to go, and we have a, a rel relatively safe way back. Um, the club finesse is a fifty percent chance, and a two-two break is only about forty percent. Yeah, this was here is my bad first take on the analysis. It would appear the club finesse is better. It's true, but and this is what I missed is that there is this extra chance on the uh, drawing hearts line, which is that the person who shortened diamonds might also be the one who has no hearts. Yep. Okay, nice. They do get into the math, because there are like two pretty reasonable options here. It's actually, this hand is actually pretty well constructed, because if you're quite a new player, um, I think you might just see a club finesse, and you're like, yeah, club finesse, I go for it. And if you're more experienced, you go, well, let's hold off on the club finesse for a sec, let's try the diamonds. Um, and then with enough experience, you're like, oh, but the diamonds is a problem because there's no safe way back to my hand after drawing the hearts. Uh, so yeah, it's like, it's like the appropriate amount of trolling, such that it makes the, uh, you know, if I gave this hand to, to someone relatively new, they'd, they'd probably get it just right. Maybe that's not true. Maybe someone, if they're actually quite new, they probably played the uh, ace-king of hearts right away. They'd be kind of forced into the diamond line. Like, well, you take the club right away, that's, that's fine. And if you take the hearts right away, that's, like, also fine, because you get forced into the right line. Oh, sorry, the club finesse right away is a problem. Um, 
Sorry, maybe that's what I meant, actually, is that the, the, the new player might just, like, try to draw hearts right away and get forced into the right line. So, that's funny. <laughs> uh, let me mark that one as a whoops. All right, four more in this set. Three now. Theme from last time from partner. All right. We have two spades. A heart is three. Four clubs is seven. A diamond is eight. Just need to find ourselves one more trick. Diamonds, nope. Clubs, we got everything we can. Hearts, we could have a 3-3 three, three split. And spades, we might be able to score that 10. Or similarly, it might also have a 3-3 three, three split over there. We can score the 10 easily if East has both of the spade honors. Uh, we go over the we use the King of Clubs and the Queen of Clubs as entries to take two spade finesses. Ooh, that's a problem though, because then how are we gonna get the, the ace of spades afterwards? That's uh that's got an issue. I don't know about that one. Um, a problem with trying to get our trick in hearts, though, is that ops can switch to diamonds. And that's pretty damning. Like, if we duck this heart, West could, seeing the singleton diamond and dummy, switch to diamonds. Um, and now we, we expose a bunch of diamond losers. Like, we have four, they have nine, at least five, which is four diamond losers, plus hearts. And that, that's a big problem. I don't think we can afford to duck this heart. Similarly, if we take the ace of hearts and then play a heart, they can also switch to diamonds and wreck similar havoc. And we still won't be able to get a heart trick. So I think we take the ace of hearts and work on spades right away. Um, the double finesse in spades looks like a trap because there's not enough entries. We'd have to use two entries outside of the Ace of Spades, because we play the Ace of Spades, that ruins the finessing position in Spades. We can't take the finesse twice now. Like, we play low, East puts it in honor, we have to win with the King, and we can't win the 10. Um, but if we use the King and Queen of Clubs to take two Spade finesses, even if it works, so the first Spade goes Spade, Jack, King, the next Spade goes, you know, Spade, Queen, Small, we can't get to the Ace of Spades afterwards. And we have to rely on spades being 3 3. In which case, you overtake the 10 with the ace. I mean, yeah, I guess that line still works as long as spades are 3 3. Um, can we put this 10 of spades to use in some way to help us when spades are 4 2? I think the useful thing when spades are 4-2 is we just play the king of spades, ace of spades, and hope for a you know, queen jack to drop. That's like an additional chance we could pick up. That's better than doing any of the finesses. I think that might be the right choice, actually, is just to bang down top spades. King of spades, ace of spades. And then if the queen jack does drop, we can do ten of spades, get back to the back to north's handed club to play the last spade. I don't think, no, there's like no other spade layouts that strike me as something where we can actually gain. Maybe one possibility is playing the ace of spades, and if an honor falls on our left, um, a, a spade finesse might be the right choice. Compared to playing the king. I think that might be true. So the chance of a 5-1 split is a fair bit less than the chance of a 4-2 split. I'm not quite sure how the restricted choice math works out there.
In any case, we can't use hearts. I think it's king first. And nothing shows up, huh? Try for that three three. Nope. <laughs> Oops. All righty. Any benefit to doing the ace first? You get kind of the same deal. And that. Finesse or not. I mean, Finesse works when East makes a mistake and doesn't split their honors, I guess. But I'm still playing for 3-3, basically, at this point. They can take a bunch of hearts. Sure. Go for it. Maybe don't take too many hearts, please. Thank you. 3-3 three, three spades. Nope. All right. Um, I didn't see a benefit in particular of going up here and playing a spade. Oh, uh, oh, does this pick up some like yeah interesting singleton honor combinations with East? Like where West has five spades? No, nah, that can't be right. This is just the beginning of the uh, double finesse line, which looks, you know, tempting, but. <laughs> oh, actually, maybe this line is good because we can dock. And, oh, uh, doesn't this still just work on 3-3? On three, three? I was going to say it picks up a tripleton jack, but <laughs> it picks up a tripleton anything. I don't think that's very helpful either. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Same problem. Same problem. Have I tried leading the 10 yet? That doesn't strike me as solving literally any problem at all. Playing hearts is, yeah, too bizarre, because they just knock out diamonds. Oh, see what benefit this could have. That's the kind of thing we, yeah, I don't, I don't expect that to be at all useful. Three, three, splits. Never. Maybe there's just an interesting way to play this. I guess, okay, well, this, maybe I have to consider more 4-2 possibilities. So of course, playing the Ace-King um, helps us against a, a Queen-Jack-Doubleton. Anything else useful? Like a, like a Queen-9? Like an Honor-9? If West has a queen nine, uh, I don't know that we can do too much about that. We don't see how we can stop East from winning a fourth, a fourth round. Like we could play a yeah, low to the ten. If East puts in the jack, we play the king, and then we play the ace. Oh, yeah, does that work against Queen 9 in the West? Queen 9, Jack 9? It's better than hoping for Queen Jack Doubleton. You don't actually know what to play next. Oh, 
oh, I, I've missed something actually really important about the club suit, which is that we might very well have three entries. If we play the club suit right, jack to the king, ten to the queen, two to the four, after playing ace to the three the first time. Or the third time. Oh, okay. With that third entry, the double finesse suddenly looks a lot more attractive. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's do that. Let's do that. Ten of spades. And okay, sure, it loses. Whatever. So much for the double finesse. Maybe we're just getting rewarded now. Yeah, when that doesn't work, we basically just hope for three three splits again. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, okay. Sorry, I think maybe one more optimization. It is right to do this first, ace of the three, then jack to the king, because this can inform how we play the spades. If the clubs aren't 4-1, um, or if the clubs are 4-1, I'm actually only going to get two entries. And if I only have two entries, I shouldn't take double finesse, and I should bang down king and ace of spades so I can capitalize on that doubleton king, queen, jack, possibly. But if I try clubs and I find out that they are 3-2, now I know I'm going to get three entries in clubs, because I'll do 10 to the queen, 2 to the 4. So now the double finesse is the right choice. Okay, ten to the queen. Double finesse. Uh, problematic if East has less. Oh no, they have no clubs left. Yeah. Okay, allowing us to unblock the spade over with the club and ace of spades. Okay. We got there. And I'll just mark that as nearly wrong and not very wrong. Okay. Let me, I want to take a look at their solution just to make sure that I got the uh, complete logic at the end there. Okay. Yep. Got to get along. Diamond shift would be most unwelcome. It's true. If spades are 3-3, three, three, easy to get a third spade trick. Yup. Sure. Club suit must provide necessary transportation. Yep. Begin by caching the ace of clubs and overtake the jack. When clubs are 3-2, there are enough entries to play spades to best advantage. Absolutely. We just do a double finesse. And we have enough entries to make this work. Yep, yep, yep. That's what we did in the end. Let's talk about the 4 1 clubs case, shall we? Yep, 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 yep. Then we don't have enough dummy entries. Look at long space. True. If West has four clubs, there's a reasonable chance he's a singleton spade on her. Oh, oh, okay. Is there oh is there a plan that when West has four clubs to play Ace of Spades and then a and then a finesse? Oh sure, which is what I talked about, right? Where if we cash the Ace of Spades and Honor actually shows up on our left, then finessing is probably the best the best option next. Okay, they agree. Cool. That was my my guess. Wasn't sure if it was quite right. And it didn't force us into that line. Okay. But yeah, okay, the early mistake I made was just missing the possibility of a third club entry, which is bad. Um, should certainly have seen that. And then also playing clubs in the right way to find out in time whether we actually have two entries or three entries, which will then inform our decision on how to play the spades.
Thorino. <clears throat> All right, one spade, two hearts is three, two clubs is five, two diamonds is seven. Need two more tricks. Uh, clubs could, of course, split three, two. We could play ace of diamonds, ace of clubs, can you have clubs and a club? And we'd still have an entry back in diamonds to use the clubs. <laughs> Um, in hearts, we have a double finesse available. <clears throat> Excuse me. Double finesse does make the hearts more attractive than the clubs. Um... As long as Wes has one of the heart honors, we would have our extra tricks. So that's a 75% chance, or like 76% chance. That's better than the 68% chance of the 3 2 club split. Um, another possibility is a spade finesse. But that means hoping the East has the king of spades, and then leading spades from North Cham twice. Um, but that's only 50%. Though, you also get to combine, you'll you end up using two heart entries along the way, potentially, so you could combine it with the, with, like, Queen Jack falling doubleton hearts. Right. It'd be hard to combine all of these because of the, the diamonds. So if we take Ace of Diamonds and we do a Diamond Finesse, uh, or sorry, a heart finesse. When it fails, as is likely, they clear diamonds, and now we're kind of just locked into the the hearts line at seventy five percent. Um, we could cash the ace king of clubs first before doing the heart finesse. If clubs are three two, we'll find out on the second round. And then we just carry on with clubs. If clubs are 4-1, doing this will have exposed two club losers. But that's fine. We'll still just go over to hearts. And when the heart finesse fails, they take a heart, a club, a club, clear diamonds. We do the heart finesse again. And that line's looking pretty good now. 76% in hearts, plus another like 68% in clubs. Uh, we're up to something close to a 90% line here, up around that. A little bit more, I think. That's pretty good. Don't know that we can fold the spades in in any particular way. Yeah, that... It strikes me as a good combination. The Ace-King of clubs first, see how clubs are splitting. And then we go after the hearts. Hmm. Ace of clubs, king of clubs. Clubs are not splitting. Oh, and the heart has fallen. Sounds vaguely positive, but it's also ominous in Bridgemaster land. Let's give it a shot. Try a heart. Go to the jack. All right. Would East have pitched a heart holding the queen jack? Let's hope not. Yikes! Uh. <laughs> Something better, huh? This line's pretty good. So the next one must be real good. Uh, anyone for a singleton king of spades? Uh, not today. Hey, Mark Spade finesse! But I suppose East will have something to say about that. And fair enough. We're down. All right. There is a, a bridge saying, when you see a good line, look for something better. I looked for something better once. 
combined clubs and hearts. Um, I don't think ducking a club can be the right choice. Because uh, they would just clear diamonds on us. So that's that's not particularly good. Also, cashing an ace of hearts earlier uh, is pretty poor. Because then we can't take the finesse twice. So we, we don't want that. These spades are interesting. Like, is there anything I could actually do with the spades? It doesn't seem like it to me. Spades just look way worse than hearts. Ace of spades and a low spade? Huh. They just clear diamonds. It's, like, pretty terrible. Huh. Oh, another possibility is rather than clubs first, is doing hearts first. Uh -huh. How about that? Hearts are guaranteed to give us a trick, but it's quite slow. Like, we'd expect it to go ace, king of hearts, we give up a heart. Um... If hearts are 3-3 three, three at that point, then we're good to go. They go and clear diamonds. <laughs> if hearts aren't 3-3, three, three, but a an honor has dropped on the first two rounds, uh, then again, we just play a heart. We've got our two tricks. That's also good. And if neither is the case, we play the ace, king of hearts, and nothing interesting has happened. Like they both just follow low. Or worse, one of them just shows out. Then we duck a club? Because now we're going to succeed on three, three hearts. 68%. When hearts are 4-2, we'll succeed as long as one of the honors is in one of the shorthand. Um, which is like a two-thirds, sorry, two-thirds squared chance that they're both in the long hand. It's four knights, it's five knights, one of them falls. So better than 50% that one of the honors falls when we play the ace king. And whether that singles or doubleton, actually, that's pretty good. Ooh, and then we get the clubs. Oh, this line is stronger. There's also a world where we get one heart trick and then try to play spades, but I think that's not good. Okay, ace of hearts, king of hearts. Uh, so that doesn't look very appealing. Uh, we can't even get a heart trick, like, the clear diamond too fast. So once that fails to pan out, then we duck a club, and we try for the club tricks. Nope. Huh. Very unfortunate. Oh, uh, we can't. There's not really that much to try in spades. Like, a last hope then becomes the spade suit, but what can you do in spades? This finesse doesn't really, like, only gives us one more trick, and we need two more tricks. Because Ace and King of... Ace King is seven tricks total. Like, I feel like Singleton King ends up being your last shot here. Still no good, huh? I guess I'll take a look. It seems like I'm getting very close. If it turns out there's a 100% solution, that'll be very exciting. Into queen. Yep, 
seven top tricks. South would ideally like to test various suits without losing the lead. Agreed. The diamond lead. Okay, I say cash the ace king of clubs. Okay. Oh, then do we cash the ace king of hearts and then come back to the clubs? Oh, sorry, we can't come back to the clubs if they're not 3 2. Okay. Yeah, if these split, we're good to go. True. And clubs are 4 1. We try hearts next. Uh, oh, also cashing the ace and the king. If either honor appears, we give up a heart trick. And they get a heart, a club, and a club. Nothing good happens in hearts. Oh, can we still make use of the spades? We've now exposed two club tricks, and we've exposed two heart tricks. All right. Let's turn our attention to spades. Order to guardians east having four more spades. We low spade. Both wins this trick. Cross to the ace. Oh yeah, actually that last entry. And play a spade again. Just hearts before clubs, we wouldn't have the entries. Oh, so we'd spades twice. Is that true? Heart, heart. Why is that? And ourselves the entries lead spades twice for drone hand. Why? Well, base king of hearts. Oh, we would lose the ability to work on the clubs after. Maybe the, I think the wording's a bit off. It's not that we wouldn't have entries to do spades. We wouldn't have entries to use clubs. Which, I mean, I guess it's like either or. But okay. So yeah, there was a way to fold spades into this line as well. Okay. Um, a little risky, because we end up exposing two club winners when we try to play the clubs. And then we expose two heart winners when we try to play the hearts. Um... And then we're potentially giving up the king of spades, which is a problem. But I guess the point here is that it's probably not all one person who's got the king of spades and uh, uh, yeah, and the two heart tricks and the two club tricks. Because there's no communication between the hands and clubs and hearts. So one person would have to be holding everything. Okay. Fair enough. All right, two more left. Six now. Hmm. Bond Jack of Diamonds. No. Three spades. Two hearts is five. Three clubs is eight. Diamond is nine. And we need three more. Can't get them all in hearts. We get two more in hearts, maybe. But it does seem like, basically, we're going to just try to play diamonds for one loser. I don't know if the hearts are really going to come into this. If we got two extra heart tricks, we'd still need a way of getting two diamond tricks without a loser, because we'd have lost a heart, and that's uh, incredibly unlikely. So I think here it's just play diamonds for one loser. And what are the options? It is possible if we play diamonds in some particular way that we, and we like get a second diamond trick without a loser, we could turn our attentions back to hearts. Um, but three three hearts, 
is already only 36%, so it looks a little unlikely to me. So options in diamonds. Um, ace of diamonds and then low. And then we have a guess. Um, and even if we guess right, we could still be in trouble. Like, say we play ace of diamonds, and then we play low from both hands that loses to west's king, we'll still be in trouble if e started with four to the jack. If we do something like run to 10 from our hand, run the 10 and it loses to the jack, that's rough. If it loses to the king, though, um, we still get a, a decent chance of dropping like a tripleton jack. I guess let's consider us some possibilities. West has king third. He says jack third. Um, that'd be ace of diamonds and like low to the seven. West says jack third and east has king third. Uh, that one's meaner. That one, yeah, you have to run the like the queen of diamonds. Oh, sorry, the ten of diamonds. Uh, West has both honors. King Jack third. Seems very problematic. West has just. Uh, East has King Jack third. Then, yeah, Ace of Diamonds and a Diamond again is fine. Yeah, we can't hold, we can't handle West with like King Jack if they have any length to go with that. And if East has King Jack, we can only handle King Jack third? Yeah. What kind of four two splits can we handle? Besides like King Jack doubleton in some hand. Uh, like if East has King fourth. That's like ace of diamonds and low to the queen. And if East has king jack, or, or it has jack fourth, uh, we have to run the queen of diamonds. All seem like very different approaches for different holdings. And can't do much in the way of like a discovery play here. I think I need to figure out the best way to play the diamonds. I might have to consider the options and see which works best. I think the only options are... Oh, is, is low from dummy on the first round a possible option? I don't think this picks up anything useful. Singleton honor with east, we're just dead. No matter what. And that'd be the main reason why we'd play low from dummy. Yeah, I think our options are Ace of Diamonds and then Low from Dummy, or we run the Queen or we run the Ten. Uh, so yeah, Ace of Diamonds and Low from Dummy. What does it actually win against? Um, oh, it still requires a guess. Like, it can work against King Third with Righty if we guess to play the Queen. It can also work against Jack Third with Righty if we guess to play Low. But it is a guess. Um, queen from south. Base. Oh, it actually seems seems quite poor. It just wins against like singleton jack with east and doubleton jack with east. Oh, not even doubleton jack with east. Yeah, queen from queen from dummy seems terrible. 
10 from dummy and just letting it run. Runs against a jack, double 10 with west. Uh, I suppose a king double 10 with west. You have to get a guess right afterwards. Oh, and also like a jack triple 10 with west. The leading queen seems bad, and the other ones seem really close to me. My inclination is just to run the 10, but I don't have a good reason for it. Like 10 and low. That's like, that's already big trouble. So we need the king to drop at that point. That's not good. That's like 10 up to the... Oh yeah, let's just play ace first. Because this just becomes like a pure guess. If you try to play the queen and the king wins, we're in big trouble. Oops. Nope. And similarly, if we play low, the, the jack wins. That's Yeah, that's a problem. And like, that's also a problem. So that's that's really no good. Yeah, I can't imagine leading the queen is right. Like, this only works against singleton jack with west and doubleton jack with west. Like, you have to just do that. And hope for an honor to fall somewhere. Oh, what? What? Why is that the right answer? <laughs> oh no, why? Why? Now we're just good to go. Hmm. Okay, well let me, let me play this hand out and then think about that. Because that looks like the worst option to me. Yeah, worked against a king jack third here. Because if they play the king... Oh, right, because they can't... Oh, sorry, because they, they're not actually allowed to cover it. So it goes queen, king, ace. We only have one diamond loser, of course. So it actually works against king fourth and king fifth and not not king sixth. Oh, king fifth? No, you're not. Duck the queen. Okay, king fourth. We play the queen, they duck. We play the ace, they duck. Okay, it works against king third or king jack third. King jack double ten. Jack double ten. Okay, yeah, there's just a couple more options than I thought that it works against. That's true, that's true. Because I forgot that I couldn't actually cover it. Okay, is there a good way of thinking about that though? Because that, uh, that's just messy to me. Suppose we cash the Ace of Diamonds. I only the diamond. We have a straight up guess. Uh, correct play the Queen, you say. Uh, if diamonds are three, three you're going to be able to work, sure. Um, otherwise, we might be able to um, crush, a, crush a jack. Sure, I agree. Here for the ace is better than a low diamond. It's not a proper way to play. <laughs> the correct way to play diamonds is not intuitive. I have empirically shown that to be true. Start by leading the queen. When diamonds are three, three, this is just as good as cashing ace and playing low to the queen. Oh, is that true? We can't pick up... Uh, ah, well, okay. I see. Just as good as in covers as many combos. Um, doesn't cover the same combos. Like, we can't pick up King-Jack-3rd on the left if we catch the ace first. 
One lion succeeds when West has king third without the jack. The other lion succeeds when East has the same holdings. True. The diamonds are 4 2. The king queen is better. Picked up doubleton king with West. True. Oh, but also doubleton jack with East. Yeah. It loses in one case for catching succeeds. Oh, a singleton king with East. Okay. Yeah. Very clunky. Interesting. Okay. Almost seems like one almost was just committing to memory. <laughs> All right. A slam to finish off level 3A. We have a spade. Two hearts is three. Four clubs is seven. Four diamonds is 11. Just need one more trick. Well, it's not coming from clubs and diamonds. Could come from hearts, could come from spades. At a glance, I'd like to test out the hearts before taking the spade finesse. We went on any three, three heart split. Um, and maybe a bit more, this nine of hearts is interesting. Um, I wonder if we can put that nine of hearts to use. Not quite see it. If I duck the first round of hearts completely, yeah. Let's, let's look at that. Uh, can I pick up any four twos? Any interesting four twos? Oh, maybe I can use it as part of an avoidance play. Um, I'd like to duck a heart to east. It's worth pointing out that I could actually lose two... Oh, sorry, I can't lose two hearts. <laughs> what am I talking about? Um, okay, maybe that's not quite relevant. Oh, an interesting thing maybe to note is that if I ducked... If I stripped the clubs and diamonds from their hands, maybe I could, yeah, throw East in in some way? But they have the Queen Jack and Ten of Hearts. That seems a little tricky. Also, running the clubs and diamonds means making three pitches from dummy. Uh, which I guess is, yeah, spade, heart, heart. It's not clear that I'd want to do that. But it doesn't quite seem good. I think I'd just squeeze dummy. Let's see. Four, two heart holdings where we can succeed. They'd probably involve West having four, given that West is the one we've got honors over. Um, if West had all the good hearts, like Queen Jack Ten Small, I think they could handle us quite well. Like, just put an honor in each time, put an honor in, capture it, come back to play a heart again, put an honor in, to capture it, and they get two tricks in the end. Yeah, I don't think we can handle that. Could we handle two of the honors, like Queen Jack Fourth? Still seems quite tricky. Oh, yeah, maybe maybe this is just going to be about the fact that we, if we duck a heart, we don't want to lose the ace of spades early. Like, if we duck a heart, but lefty wins that first round of hearts, they can play a spade and force us into a spade guess before we know whether hearts split or not. And we don't know whether to take the finesse. So yeah, I think the knight of hearts might just be part of an avoidance play against West where we'd actually 
if West plays an honor, we will cover it. And we probably try another heart, and if West plays another honor, we might not be able to afford to cover it. But the Nine of Hearts might help us duck the heart trick to East. Yeah, let's see here. By honor, we take it. We don't want to lose the trick to West. We try again. They play low enough that we can cover it and make sure that East wins the trick. There we go. Because they can't attack spades without giving us a trick up. Giving up, giving us up a trick. Giving up a trick to us. Words. Okay. Uh, importantly, we have this entry back to our hand, ten to the jack, that we can use to test the hearts. And the hearts are not cooperating. So in the end, we will have to try this finesse. Play all our winners while we're here. And take the finesse. Success. Okay. Yeah, just don't, you just don't want to let Lefty take that heart trick when we duck around to them. Because yeah, they put us to a guess too fast. Okay. Not bad. Uh, let's see here. All right, did do a little, maybe a little better today. Unclear. Uh, there are some that I had to look at the answers for today, but I did also get 10 of 16 right. So a bit of a mixed bag, I suppose. I am at, yeah, 50% correct, which is better than, better than last year. It was 36% correct. Well, but we'll see if things get harder, I suppose. Uh, but, yeah, not bad. I'll come back again next time for level 3B.